So we're going to talk a little bit about setting up a slip bobber rig. In this case, what I've got is a, a suede brigade spinner reel. This is their six foot, 10 inch rod, which I like the little extra length for a slip bobber setup. Uh, it gives you a little bit better chance for a better hook setup. And this has got a 1000 series brigade black label reel. Again, this is set up with a 10 pound Berkeley fire line. Um, a little stronger than what I would normally use for jigging, but with a slip bobber works really, really well. So when you set up a slip bobber rig, and, and frankly, if, if you haven't done this, it's something you really ought to be considering because a slip bobber is an extremely underutilized tool for fishing for walleyes or any other fish for that matter. And it's an absolute blast to fish with a bobber and watch that bobber go down and, and get a hook set. So I'm gonna switch this over and I'll show you how you would set up a rig for the slip bobbers. So you start out with your, your main line, and in this case, um, this is my fire line. And what you need to do first of all is actually put a bobber stop on, and the bobber stops are little things like this that come on a little package. These are Phil from the North 40 store here in town. Um, it's basically a little plastic sleeve and then actually some uh, Dacron line that's with a special knot. But you slide this up over your line, And then what you do is you actually pull the little plastic sleeve off and get rid of it because that's, you don't want that. And what you have then is just this kind of a fancy knot and you just you pull on both ends of this and that creates a bobber stop. It tightens up on your line and that's what actually creates the stop for the bobber so that when you're, you, you can adjust this to whatever depth that you want and then once you get the depth you want it set at, you just pull real tight tighten it up on the line and then it stops and then once you pull on it now I'm going to leave this one a little longer because I want to readjust this but once you I'll, in fact I'll leave it there for now but so we have the bobber stop on here that I can move up the line wherever I want and then it won't slide without pretty good pressure then what you do is you take a little bead um, from the bobber stop package they generally send beads with them um, in this case a little fluorescent orange one you put that little bead on there. The next thing you want to do is put your bobber on and just slide it from the top down through that line. Then when you get the bobber tied on your line, so you have your bar stop, you got a little bead, you got your bobber. Then you take one more bead and stick on. It creates a little uh, cushion or whatever. Then take a barrel swivel, in this case, about a 3 8 inch barrel swivel. Tie this on with a polymer knot. So now I've got the, the basics of my slip bobber with the bobber stop. And what happens is when the bobber gets to that bobber stop, then it, it keeps it from going down any deeper. So that of the bead, the, the barrel swivel. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll tie on a leader. And in this case, maybe again, a two or three foot leader. And I like to use these little boxes like this. This is what I put my leader materials in. This is called a Pips box from Maxler. Um, Makes for a real nice setup to be able to keep things all neat and tidy. Sometimes I'll even tie some pre rig sums like this here. Um, otherwise, just take a two or three foot piece of uh, leader material. Again, this is 15 pound fluorocarbon, what I really like. And I'll tie this onto that barrel swivel with the same polymer knot. Now, again, bobber stop, bead slip bobber, bead, barrel, and a leader. And then if you're slip bobbing, you can use quite a variety of uh, actually terminal tackle. You can hook just a plain hook with a BB sinker on here. Um, a lot of times I'll use small jigs. This one's a little bit big, but uh, you can see this a little better. And I would just tie that jig on. Same knot that I've used and everything else with polymer knot. Uh, the key with a slip bobber rig is to, to make sure that you got the amount of weight that you need to make this thing work right. Because what happens is when the bobber goes down, if this doesn't hit bottom and it gets to the bobber stop, when this goes down, I'll move this down so you can see this. Um, if this goes down and it's up off the bottom, then the, the bobber is going to sit straight up like this. 
If the, if the bait hits the bottom, the bobber is going to lay over like this because there's no weight pulling it down. Or if the weight is too light, it won't be enough to stand the bobber up when it's like this. So you, you may have to experiment with the weight a little bit, but that's basically your slip bobber setup. When you get a bite, you'll see that bobber go down. And the key, and that's why I like the little longer rod, like the 610 suede, is when that bobber goes down, you got a picture, you got a whole bunch of line that's going straight out. And then if you're fishing five foot, 10 foot, 15 foot, uh, you got this line going down. So you end up kind of with this great big bowl in your line. So what you need to do when that bobber goes down is you need to pick your rod up and very carefully reel down very slowly until you start to feel the line get tight. And then when you, when you do that, then you give that rod a great big nice sweep because you got to get all that slack out of line and otherwise you're going to miss those fish. You can actually trim off these tag lines on the barber stop. Um, so you can actually, like I could fish this rig in 20 foot of water because this barber stop is actually going to reel right up into my reel without any problem. Um, if I want to fish five foot, I can do that and fish real shallow with it where I wouldn't be able to get with a boat or if I threw a jig over in two foot of water, I'd get snagged up in the rocks. Um, it's just a very underutilized tool for having a great time fishing. So give it a shot, catch some fish, have a good time, thanks. If you got any questions or need any further information, just stop by any of the North 40 Outfitters stores or check the website at north40.com. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again. Thanks.